all have played multiplayer games like Minecraft, Fortnite and Call of Duty. I always wanted to build a multiplayer game but I am not a game developer, I am a web developer. Then I thought why don't we build a multiplayer game with my web development skills. To build a multiplayer game, the most essential requirement is to instantly communicate between two players without any delay. If you are a web developer, you should already be familiar with WebSockets. WebSockets enable instant data exchange and it's supported in all modern browsers. The next important question is, what game should I build? I can't create a game like Minecraft or Fortnite because they are built by companies where hundreds of developers work together to build these games. Here, I'm the only developer. So we're gonna create a small game that involves multiplayer feature. After brainstorming for one hour, I came up with two games, Chess and Rock Paper Scissors. I decided to build Rock Paper Scissors. Truth is, building a chess game would take lot of work. <laughs> so I will be creating a Rock Paper Scissors game in this video with JavaScript. Those who don't know how the Rock Paper Scissors game works, it's a simple game where rock is a closed fist, paper is a flat hand and scissor is a fist with index and middle finger extended. Rock wins against scissors, paper wins against rock and scissor wins against the paper. Now let's gather all the assets we need to build this game like hands, background images, winner and loser boards, buttons etc. Let's save all of them in a folder called images. To build this project, I will be using react on frontend and node.js on backend. I am gonna use the socket.io library. It enables real-time event-based communication between a client and a server. For this game, I will be creating a home page where I will give two options, play with a friend and play with a stranger. Whenever user clicks on any one of the button, they will be redirected to the game page. Here on the left side, user info will be there and on the right side, opponent info will be there. Controls for the user, we are gonna show them here. If the user selected to play with a friend, I will give a link so he can share and their friend can join from that link. If the user selected to play with a stranger, I will select any random online user as his opponent. Whoever scores the 3 points first will be the winner. Then I redirect them to a result page. Here I will show the scoreboard and the same options shown on the home page. I think that's it for the planning. Now let's build the game. First I will create a react app and run it on a local host. Now I have to create a home page as planned. So let's start coding. That's it. Our home page is created. Pretty fast, right? What? What the f Just kidding. I'm copying the code I have already written. Okay, now the hardest part. I have to find one random online user and transfer real-time data between both of them. It took me one day to figure out how to do this. Let me show you how. You all are familiar with WhatsApp. When we are chatting with our friends, under the hood, WhatsApp will transmit messages from one socket to another. But when it comes to group chatting, transmitting messages from socket to socket is not efficient. So WhatsApp creates a room, it has a unique ID and inside that all sockets will be there. Here messages transmit from socket to room. I am going to use this rooms concept to build this game. Whenever the user clicks on play with a stranger button. I will send a room create event from the front end. On the back end, I will create a room with a unique ID and join this user in that room. To join another player in this room, I need room ID. So I have to save room details somewhere. I will save every room ID in an array called rooms. If another user clicks on that button, first I will check is there any room available from that array. If the room is available, I will make this user to join the room. But there is an issue here. I only want two players to join this room. To fix this, I will add a variable called vacant to check if the room is available or not. To have a track of players info like socket id, option, score and option log, we'll save that data in a players object. Now I need to send these details to the front end via sending a room get event from the back end. I hope you understood what I said. Now it's time to make it practically work. It's done. Now on the front end, I have to call the room create event when the user clicks on a button. Then I redirect them to a game page when I get room details from the backend. Here 
Let's add a background image, user info, score, hand images like rock, paper, scissors and controls. By default, I will show the rock hand on the both sides. Now I have to show the result based on the input given. It's working fine, but I will add an animation while showing the result. Two more things left, adding a loader while finding an opponent and listening on the room get event. Okay, it's done. Now I have to transmit data between both players. To do that, I will emit a room update event from the front end whenever I get input from the player. In the back end, I will listen to the room update event. Here, I will find a room with a room ID and update it with a given payload. And then I will send an updated object to the front end via calling room get event. Data is transmitting successfully. It's time to write the logic of the rock paper scissor game and update the scores based on the inputs. The game is working fine, but it's endless. I already said whoever wins 3 points first will be the winner. Then I redirect them to a result page. Now I have to create a result page and show the stars based on the score. I should also show the same options shown on the home page so that the user doesn't have to return to start again. The game is completed but one more thing is left, sharing a link and playing with a friend. To join a player with a link, I will take the room ID from that link and check if is there any room available with a given ID. If a room exists, then I will check if it's vacant. If it's available and vacant, then the user can join the room, else I will redirect him to the home page. Currently, any user can join the room if it's vacant. To solve this, I will create a private rooms for those who click on a play with a friend button. Ok, it's done. Now let's test the game. I hope you like this video, please subscribe and like this video so that the YouTube algorithm will suggest this to other developers like you. We'll see you in next video.